Hello viewers and welcome to Lucimoria Network. Uh, this afternoon we are still in Ikisi and we are visiting village by village. Today we are at Bamatara village, this time visiting Muse Sablon Muse. Mm. Sablon Muse has been a long term teacher. Alifundisha primary school for that good years and is retired. But we can kind of say now he's almost bedridden with very little help from anyone, if not his family. And as I said, to Taskia, kwa mwalim, sablon, atuambie safari yake, maisha yake, benya lianzisha. Baba, Mr. Sablon, hmm. abari yako? Mzuri. Biori? Mbiyande. Mbiyande? Eh. Abana buyabale? Eh. Eh. Mbiyabale bozi. Ah, buya. Eh. Sasa? Eh. Uh, tungetaka wangalie pale kamera mali unangalia uonge uh -huh. utuambie wewe ni nani na hapa tuko ni wapi ni kwa nani na utuambie venye bali umekua mwalimu what you have been until today uh, yes <coughs> uh, kwanza ningesema ni wa ni wa shukuru sana kwa kufika hapa kwangu na nyinyi na wageni wangu saa hii ninafurahi sana hasa maisha yangu uh, mimi nisaliwa mwaka 45 na, na tano uko uko machoge borabu Um, niliamia hapa wakati niliandikwa kazi ya walimu ilikucha hapa mwaka sabina tano ndio nikaanza kufundisha shule mocha ambayo ika hapa chini na hitu wakanunda primary school nilifundisha huko miaka hii yote Nikarita ya mwaka 20 uh, 2004 ndio nilikucha nyumbani lakini kabla uh, uh, kukucha nyumbani nikaugua ilikuwa na ugonjwa nili, ni, nilikuwa nimepita mahospitali mengi sana hata waku niambia ugonjwa ni nayo mwilini. 2000, mwake elifu mbili, nikaenda Nairobi Hospital, ikatipiwa uko, ikapewa madawa ni karudi. Lakini ugonjwa uliendelea. Alafu, nikaenda kichabe, Kichabe hospital ndia wali nipima, walipata magonjwa mingi sana mwilini. Tangu uh, wakati huu, waliandika ya kwamba niko na asima, pressure iko chuu, asa wakanipatia madawa ni kukucha. Lakini tangu siku hiyo, Nikaendelea kuishi na hii asima mpaka leo vile naongea hivi. Niko na asima na ndio inanisumbua sana. Uh, wakati nilianda hospitali mocha hapa kisi, wakati huo nilikuwa natoka kwenda short call after one hour nimetoka nimeenda inchi. Asa nika ikasikia hii si, si, si kawaida nikaenda nikapimwa wakaniambia wewe uko na sukari uh, na kabla ya sukari hiyo kuingia nilikuwa na umu wa tumbo hii tumbo ilikuwa inanisumbua sana sikukuwa na lala alafu nikaenda kwa daktari akaniambia umekucha wakati mzuri saa hii 
tunataka kukufanyia operation nikaenda wakanifanyia operation nilikuwa uh, uh, small interest in intestine ilikuwa ime 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 nini uh, yani chakura haikuwa inapita vizuri kifika mahali fulani chakura inakuwa mauko sasa naanza kuumwa wakanifanyia operation sasa kutoka hapo nikaendelea na madawa ni mwaka huu tu mwezi wa watano kuchukua madawa kutoka Krista Marian Hospital ni kirudi karibu na chengo la mwalimu nilitaka kufuka barabarani gari ikanigonga mguu mguu wangu wa kushoto kaingia ndani ya gari uh, chini ya gari lakini hao askari wa town wakamwambia uh, piga breki yako usiende kwa maana utamuumiza uta zaidi aya akafanya huko akafanya hivyo wakaachukua wakakucha wakainua gari juu wakanitoa nikaenda hospitali sasa tangu siku hiyo niko na hii mugu wangu unanisumbua sana ni hii e, socks waliniwekea mhm wakasema mm hii ndiye itashika kwa maana irudisha mfupa mifupa ilikuwa na cracks wakaniwekea hii e. naishi na hii na kitu kinanisumbua hii ugonjwa wa, wa, wa asima kuna hii miaka ya nyuma nilikuwa narara ile kitu inasimama kutoka nyuma naambia mama analeta blanketi kwa maana sikukaa sikulala wakati naenda kulala naanza kukokoa sana nikasumbuka nilikuwa nalala huko mpaka asubuhi nikisimama sikukuwa na kaa sikukuwa na lala ni kusimama tu na ilikuwa na shida ya uh, kuchendelesha upande mwingine lakini hiyo shida ikacha ikaisha ile ya leo nikienda mlima hata iwe kidogo breathing yangu ni mbaya sana ndio na, na, na kaa hapa wakati nasikia hiyo wana nichukua hospitali eh, sasa naendelea hivyo askari ni napima kila siku kuona iko kiasi gani lakini siku hizi si mbaya sana iko kati ya tano na kumi. Uh, waliniambia hiyo si mbaya sana ikienda juu ya kumi, ndio mbaya kwa wakati huu kitu nasumbuka nayo na ngangana na asima ndio mbaya zaidi na hii ilikucha hii ya gari ndio ikanifanya sasa nikiamuka saa hii nikiamuka kwenda kushika hii nyimbo kutembea nasikia mbaya sana breathing yangu inakuwa mbaya sasa kitu kinanisaidia ni madawa haya niko na um, kitunguo na chinja nikitafuna hiyo na kuweka hii nasikia mzuri na inaisha wakati inaisha tu haiendi haiendi mbali kiweka inamaliza saa kama mbili tatu hivi inaisha tena inakucha na 
nimeamua kukaa hata sitaki kutembea wakati natembea ni wakati naenda hospitali wananichukua hapa chuo hata nashindwa kupanda hii mlima wakati haya mtaki dina hii nashindwa kupanda mlima wananibeba wananiweka kwa gari naenda hospitali wa nanifanyia ile wanafanya na nasikia mzuri tena narudi hali yangu ndio hivyo asante sana mse Sablon ah. Mose mm. na hata ninaona ni kama usikii vizuri ni kama uko na shinda ya kusikia pia uh, waliniambia uh -huh. sukari iliharibu macho imisioni vizuri na usikii vizuri na ni, nimeacha kusoma sasa kuangalia karatasi hivi eh, maji yanatoka kwa macho ama sikio pia wakati huo wa sukari ndio walianiambia inaweza kuharibu ma, masikio pamoja na na macho um, eh, asante mse sablon eh, sasa hizi mandawa za inihela eh, unatoa wapi hospitali ama unanunua mwenyewe kuna wakati mwingine nilikuwa natumia mocha au mbili kwa mwezi siku hizi mwezi nachukua tatu kwa na, kwa hospitali ya serikali uh, ama unanunua hii nanunua 350 moja eh moja hiyo ndiye nachukua pesa nyingi na unatumia kama ngapi kwa mwezi umesema natumia tatu kila hiyo ni elfu moja. hiyo mwezi ukiisha Mm. Iwa na nimekwisha tumia tatu. Mm. Na pia dawa ya sukari unakunywa kila siku? E, dawa ya sukari iko hapa. Ninayo na madawa hapa waliniambia uh, usiache kutumia madawa ya ya pressure, sukari. Ya sukari. Na pressure hiyo. Ya diabetes. E, ya mguu na ndio hii imevunjika. E, natumia clashes eh, na wakati umeenda hata hizi clashes ni umenjununulia mwenyewe eh, ama ulipewa eh, nilinunua moja nafikiri hata ni 1000 kama 3500 na sasa ah. nilinunua ile iko kwa kona oh iko nyingine huko wakati nilikuwa natembea nikaanguka huko kwa kiti eh. ikafunjika oh, tena nikaenda kununua hii sasa baba hiyo yote already you are retired teacher umeritaya uh, wewe uko nyumbani hakuna kazi uko nayo sasa hiyo pesa yote ya kununua clashes kwenda hospitali uh, uh, kununua inihela ya elfu moja kila mwezi hiyo ndawa yote ume mention yote ni ya kila siku unaoji unawezaje kwa fondi hiyo watu wamenisaidia sana uh, mgeni akicha ananipatia shilingi ripo mocha au 500 naongeza na ile natoa wakati mimi si sikukua na ugua ilianda nyumbani nikapanda ma ndisi kapanda ndisi nyingi sana na nikapanda miti mingi sana hiyo ndiye inanisaidia wakati mmoja anaweza kuleta ndizi kutoka nyumbani hivi kumi hivi au kumi na mbili na naenda nyumbani na usa miti miwili napata pesa kwa hivyo pesa ya kununua hivi vitu natoa kutoka shambani kwa hivyo unataka hiyo pesa ya hii pesa ya chakula yote e, unatafuta e, na unajua inategemea kama hiyo miti ama ndizi imenunuliwa hata injanunuliwa mimi nilikuwa mu, mkulima sana nilikuwa napenda kazi ya ukulima hata ukikuwa wakati nilikuwa nilianza kuugua ndio sasa niliacha kazi ya nkaachia mama sasa ndiye anaenda analima na nampatia pesa hii ya pension inapata kidogo na upatia naenda na lima analeta e, chakula hapa pesa ya pension hiyo unapata eh? Una, unapata wakati ufaayo 
Hiyo e, pension. E, hiyo pension ni kama hiyo uguo umefundisha miaka hiyo yote e. kama you don't mind e. ni kama pesa ngapi? Hii pension? Yes. Kwanza ilikuwa na shida. Nilifundisha miaka 15 kama train teacher. Na wakati huu serikali haikukua haiku inatutambua inasema ya kwamba wewe unasaidia nilisaidia miaka 15 wakati nilienda kosi ndio nilianza sasa uh, na nikafundisha miaka 15 nyingine sasa hiyo yote ikawa ni miaka 30 hiyo ndio nilifanya kazi na um, pesa ya pension ni kidogo sana kwa maana uh, walikuwa na walikuwa na ile fraction sichui wala wanaita nini so ni kama pesa ngapi unapata e, e, sasa kwa mwezi napata ile saba wakitoa napata ile sita hiyo ndio nafanyia kazi ndio nanunua na so elu saba inanunua inanunua dawa ya pressure eh. inanunua dawa ya diabetes inanunua dawa ya asthma na hiyo yote ni dawa ya kila siku eh. na inakupeleka ina hospitali na unastahili ukule eh. kwa 1700 eh. viewers that is the story of Sablon Muse our, our retired teacher our heritage our beacon of this country Mzee, as a teacher they taught everyone politicians presidents they have taught doctors and now this is the reward he is bed rending right now and there's nothing despite the constitution stipulating that act 57 it is a responsibility of the government and the family to take care of the elderly people those people who served this country those people who made us who we are today it is unfortunate this muse is laying here in the house in the middle of somewhere in ikisi and no one knows he's here and he has elected an mca he has elected a member of parliament he has elected a senator he has elected a president but no one can pass the bill of senior citizens in this country and you you the mp you will also grow old it is very unfortunate the story of sablon is just one is a symbol of 80% of our elderly people who have nowhere to look whose health has gone down because actually as you age all what is talking you find most of them they have diabetes hypertension asthma breaking of legs because their bones are already they, they they are you know they are prone to falling all those things are there but according to our government there is nothing special about that these are the people who are made you who you are mse mm. sablo ukiongea na serikali yetu angalia pale Utuambie wewe kama mzee kama mwalimu retired ni nini ungetaka unatuambia hiyo pension yako seriously hao hata hao hao tunaita wakubwa pension hiyo unapewa for, for one month it's not even enough for their cup of tea they can that's not enough for their lunch uh, serikali yetu na na ipongeza kwa kutupatia hizo pesa kidogo ndio tunachimudu nayo lakini <coughs> uh, inaonekana tuli tulisaulika sana serikali imetusahau haitutilie manani kwamba hawa ndio wazee walitufanya tuwe mahali tulipo saa hii ningeomba wachali wase sana wawatalie manani ili wase waishi ku kuishi mahali um, 
mahali walipo waishi vizuri na hii magonjwa ambayo inatuleta mpaka wakati huu ndio inatusumbua sasa tuna pesa hata ya kununua dawa hata ya kukula nyumbani na sisi tunahitaji chakula naona serikali imetuacha ime so ningeomba ya kwamba um, wakikubali wachukue hao wazee kama watoto wao ili waweze kuwafanyia mema kwa kuwasaidia na hata hizi pesa kidogo ya pension haitoshi mtu kuishi nayo ni ndogo tumesikia ya kwamba wafanyikazi wa serikali wanapewa mishahara <coughs> wanaongezewa <coughs> lakini sisi hatupati kitu tunaishi tu kana kwamba tumesaulika na hata watuchali awaoni hawa ndio wasee walianzisha uh, kazi hii ambao tunayo sasa kwa hivyo uh, ningependa kuwaomba watuangalie ili waweze kutusaidia na sisi tuwe uh, tuwe watu tunakupale ya kwamba hii ndio maisha ambao tunaendelea kuishi nayo Uh, umesikia the player of Mr. Sablon na nimesema Mr. Sablon is just a symbol of 80% ya elderly wetu hapa Kenya mbunge wa hapa anaitwa nani Kibagende constituency saa hizi nikiwa hapa kitutu cha south nataka kuongea na mbunge wa hapa Kibagende tafadhali I mean your constituency we are begging and beseeching e motion ya senior citizen bill ambaye itachunga wazee wetu ambaye hata wewe itakuchunga hiyo motion mu support na nyinyi wananchi mahali muko popote hata kama unjaseka wewe uko kijana uko nani e motion tunahitaji ipitishwe ikae motion kama zingine ndio wazee wetu wapate akienda hospitali ndawa kama hii ya asthma si ndawa hata ya kununua inatakana aende ana access hospitali kwa sababu that is a basic need ndawa kama hiyo without hiyo awezi ku breathe without breathing he is no more tafadhali hiyo motion ipitishwe na nyinyi wa Kenya mahali muko muliamuka mapema kupigia wa MP wenu kura Mali utakutana na MP wako muandikie barua mpigie simu waambie hiyo motion ya waze ipitishwe ndio tukue na sheria ambazo zitatengenezea wazee maisha yao ndio wapate mandawa ndio wapate kupata nafasi kama ni kwa basi ndio wapate kutengenezwa vio kwa institutions zetu cho ambaye mzee anaweza fikia hiyo hata sasa mzee kama huyu aende mahali hata hiyo hospitali he cannot even sit Dio tukue na sheria ambayo wazee wetu wote wanapewa uniform medical cover ambayo wakiaccess hizo hospitali kila mzee asumbuki mzee kama huyu alifundisha hii nchi tumesikia anatuambia ye hey, unless well wishers wageni wakikuja ndio anawaomba aweze kupata the next inhaler kwa sababu kila mwezi anatumia ine ama zaidi mzee kama huyo unataka afanye nini tafadhali let's avoid the cars our churches our mosques hata nyinyi mko na jukumu mabishop wetu na watu wa religious leaders please let us join hands in this fight for our elderly thank you very much